Hey guys, welcome back. It's so nice to see you again. And today, as you have expected, I will be showing you how you can make sodium bisulfate in your own home. So make sure that you watch my video to the end so you know how you can make this by yourself and under adult supervision. Well, there are several preparatory methods of sodium bisulfate and I will list a few. The first method I have here is reacting sodium chloride and sulfuric acid under heat to bring about sodium bisulfate and hydrogen chloride gas. The next method I have is sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Now, this is actually an neutralization reaction. It's a half neutralization reaction actually. But it brings about sodium bisulfate and water. The next reaction I have is sodium pyrosulfate reacting with water. This is an hydration reaction and it brings about two moles of sodium bisulfate. Next reaction I have is sodium carbonate plus sulfuric acid giving us sodium bisulfate, carbon dioxide gas and water. Also, this is a half neutralization reaction. And last, we have sodium sulfate reacting with sulfuric acid to give us two moles of sodium bisulfate. Now if you look at the reaction, the reaction that yields those two moles are this and this. But unluckily for us, I do not have sodium pyrosulfate at home right now. So this is a no-go. And this other reaction only gives me one mole of sodium bisulfate. So I want to use this reaction today. So this reaction favors me. And I'm going to feature this reaction in today's video. Here I have 1 gram of sodium sulfate, and to it I'm going to add 50 cm cube of water. Okay, now I'm going to stir it properly. So I can have a homogeneous mixture. Okay, that's it. I have 45 cm cube of sulfuric acid. Okay, a quick test. With the value that I gave you, one gram of one gram of sodium sulfate, 50 cm cube of solution, and 45 cm cube of sulfuric acid. Can you tell me the concentration of my sulfuric acid here? And when you do, you can write it in the comments below. For the reaction to occur. We simply have to mix the two solutions together. Okay, here we have a solution of sodium bisulfate. And as you expected, it is acidic in nature. I transferred the solution to my evaporation disk so that I can use evaporation to extract the crystals. And then you may, and I know you may be thinking, why didn't I boil off the water in the solution? Well, it's because when sodium bisulfate is heated to around 200 degrees, it converts, converts or dehydrates to form sodium pyrosulfate. And that's not what we want here. We want to have sodium bisulfate. So as a mature chemist, the best way to extract these crystals is by evaporation. Okay, after a few days, I was left with this fine crystal of sodium bisulfate. So, before I even forget, I used 0.5 molar solution of sulfuric acid. So, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to be notified for more available content from the aspiring chemists.